incriminating evidence of the prince's alleged 2001 tryst with then 17-year-old Epstein's slave Virginia Jufer could be in Russian hands, fears MI6, the British intelligence service. The agency's concern center on the curious case of John Mark Dougan, an ex-Marine and former Palm Beach County Sheriff's deputy who now lives in Russia, the Times of London reports. Dougan, who moved to Moscow and sought asylum there in 2016, had worked for the sheriff's office in 2005, the year it began an investigation into Epstein. The billionaire pedophile had owned a Palm Beach mansion. NOW, almost 20 years after Prince Andrew's alleged tryst, a security source tells The Times that MI6's concerned Dougan may still have inside information concerning Epstein and Prince Andrew. Dougan claimed on Facebook in July he still possessed confidential documents no one had seen. The Times said. And Dougan is known to have had contact with Pavel Borodin, a senior Russian government official who is sometimes referred to as President Vladimir Putin's mentor, the Times said. Dougan quit the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office in 2009 after three years on road patrol and became a self-appointed corruption whistleblower. By 2012, he was running loose cannon websites, accusing his former fellow sheriffs of corruption, fascism, and even child molestation. It didn't bother me until he said, I raped my son then Sheriff Rick Bradshaw complained of Daugan to the Palm Beach Post in 2012. With an FBI investigation looming, Daugan fled the U.S. in 2016, catching a flight from Toronto to Moscow. There, he claimed political asylum and billed himself as Bedvolf and exiled law enforcement whistleblower. In 2017, he was linked to an online story falsely accusing one of his longtime targets, Palm Beach's then chief deputy sheriff, of being a white supremacist who wanted to rape and kill a black man. Urju. Dougan denied involvement with the story to the Palm Beach Post. At the time, HIS current website says he is appearing on Russian documentaries, working for disability charities, and selling self branded Dougan stakes. This article first appeared in the New York Post and is republished with permission.